guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, it'll be like a video where I talk to you about my Premier League um, team of the season and a few shout outs. If you like the video, like the video. And if you haven't seen this lovely face before on your screen, go down below and hit the subscribe button. First, I'm gonna shout out Zach. Right, I'm sorry for pronounce this wrong, but. It's spelled at the oh, so I'm guessing it's like Edo. I don't know. And then we're gonna have Vintage Vernon, Santa Banta, HM10 Space Skills. Then this one is going to be it, but instead of this, it's gonna be a Z. And then it's Josh, it's not me by the way. And then K Team. Uh, then a lot of you will probably know this guy. Um, but if you haven't, just go and subscribe to him. Just recently hit 1k subs. It's Bing's NUFC 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 with no um, spaces. But the NUFC is all in capitals. And the next one is Masters. And then the rest in capitals is just S, F, C, C no. S, F, C, Y, T. But there's just all in capitals and no spaces. Then it's. I'm sorry if I pronounce this wrong again. It's. Uh, my, uh, so I'm guessing it's Ame Tekas, something like that. But then it's then the next one is Killers. But then at the end of set instead of an S, it's gonna be a Z. And then it, and then they've got two X's. Well, there's a space and then two X's. But the first X is a capital X. And then the next one is Dynaco Space O Six. Then the next one is going to be Matthew Watson. Then the next, well, the last one is going to be. It's Ben, but instead of the S, it's obviously going to be a Z. So now, through the team for the season, and right, let's say something. The front three was really hard to choose. Um, some of you might disagree, but if you do, then just comment down below. But this is mine, not yours, so comment down below your team for the season. Right, so Ingo, it has to be Davda here. Some people will take Courtois, but I, I haven't rated Courtois this season. I would say Davda here. Right, so I'll tear the two centre backs. Right, right, it's going to be as quick as soon as Conte put him in centre back when they moved to the three at the back. He's been outstanding. Right, so the next one, loads of you will disagree. It has to be, well, when he was at Liverpool, he didn't do that well, but as soon as he came to Palace, he's been extraordinary. It has to be Mamadou Sako, like loads of you are screaming at me now, on you? But. He's just been so consistent, and with Sacco and the team since, what was it like, the start of February, they've only lost two games, and that was against Tottenham, and I think one of them, I forgot who they played yesterday. But yeah, so, right back, well, it's going to be Victor Moses. Um, like, last season when he was at West Ham, he didn't do his best, but this season at right back, for, under Conte, again, he's just been outstanding. And then to left back, we're not going to have another chance to play. Marcus Alonso. Now, some of, well, most of you should agree. Um, Marcus Alonso has just been, he's been really good. He's scored quite a few goals too. So, yeah, now it's going to be the midfielder. So, we're playing the four. Well, it's the one where I use in my career mode. Where I have four at the back, three centre mids, and then left forward, right forward, and straight guys. So, we're going to have two defensive Midfielders and one attacking, so it has to be one of the defensive players has to be can't do. Um, I don't even need to say anything. He's just been that good, but yeah. So the next one, he's so underrated. It's not uh, not a rarer. It's gonna be Adrisa Garnagi from Everton. He's so underrated. The reason why um people have picked can't do out more because he's been in a title winning. Well, if not. Well, probably will win the title at Chelsea, title contender. But it's just a guy like he like he's just been an Everton side which is the top eight or something. He hasn't really like he hasn't stood out more than Cantley, but he's got like really similar stats to Cantley. He's so underrated. Um, I think he's if not, well, I don't know. He's really good though because when I watched him play, they scored about four goals off him. Like. This season, I've watched them play. I've only saw about five Everton games. And then they've scored at least four or five goals of him because that he's really good at counter attack, and he's just another Cantley. 
Right, so next it's going to be attack midfielder slash centre midfielder. Well, the attack and centre midfielder has to be Deli Ali. He's so young. Um, he's got so much potential too. He's going to be, I think, he's going to be like another Iniesta, but he's just really good, isn't he? Right, now we've got the strikers and well, we're going to have, yeah, the strikers. So right forward, left forward and strikers. So right forward, it has to be Mane. Um, at the start of the season, I didn't think he would do quite well, but he's, he's just performed, hasn't he? Like, you're really good. He scored, um, he scored loads of goals. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of you would agree. But yeah, so left forward. If you don't agree with this, then you're on a different planet, let's face it. Has to be Eden Hazard. He's done really well at Chelsea. Um, I'm not sure he's on the level as like Ronaldo is, like Ronaldo and Messi, but because he's had a few off seasons, like last season definitely he performed at the end, but He's had like a few off seasons. The season before he done really well, but then this in the season not last season, not the season before, but the season before that, he he didn't play that well too. But yeah, I'm sure a lot of you will agree Hazard, but he's not quite up there. Right now, this was a really hard choice. Right, so I could have had a pick from well, Zlatan, um Alexis Sanchez. Le Lukaku or Kane. Um, yeah, this is really hard, as I just said. But I I went with Lukaku because he's still quite young. Um, he's just been really good. He surprised quite a few people. Top scorer, and you need a good goal scorer, a striker. So and if he's the top scorer, then I, th I would I would definitely have him because he's still got potential to be another Suarez, another. Zlatan, whatever. But don't remember, Zlatan, what he's done in the Premier League this season, has been outstanding for his age. Um, but yeah, so that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Also, comment down below if any feedback or just think of me. Also, go down below and subscribe if you haven't already. Well, yeah, that subscribe button, hit the notification bell next to it, and peace!